Hi, it's Dennis Daly. When I lived in Los Angeles, one of the people who lived in my apartment building made a big deal about telling everyone he was a classic Hollywood actor. His name was Conrad Brooks, and yes, he was in some Hollywood movies, but he is often referred to as the John Gielgud of bad acting. Conrad Brooks was the young policeman in the Ed Wood movie Plan 9 from Outer Space. It has been called, if I may say this, Conrad, the worst movie ever made in Hollywood. But it was the major part of the movie Ed Wood in which Johnny Depp portrayed the controversial and very flamboyant Hollywood producer who is no longer with us. He died a couple of decades ago. Conrad, what was it like to be in your late 20s and, and move from Baltimore and come out here to Hollywood with very little acting experience, suddenly be discovered, and, and run into Ed Wood and suddenly find yourself part of Hollywood. I was looking for that big break. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure it was going to happen, but I got lucky, really got lucky. But, um, but like I said, I got to know Ed Wood, and it was because of Ed Wood, and that's why I hanged around, you know, in Hollywood. Um, but like I said, I got a chance to work with Ed Wood and worked with Bella Lugosi and with Lyle Talbot, in which I got to meet people like Tom Keene, uh, who also worked for Ed Wood in Plan 9 from Outer Space. <laughs> you know. But Ed Wood was able to pick up these people who still had face and name recognition, yeah, right. but their careers had gone, gone down. Going down, that's right, because Ed always, uh, you know, as a kid, you know, I mean, they were his heroes. And when he went to the theater, you know, you see Tom, Tom Toller, who did, did The Phantom, years ago in the movies and uh, also did Captain Marvel which was a very famous uh, movie serial but these were all his heroes like Talbot and Bella Lugosi and of course years later when Ed got to Hollywood these people you know age you know they weren't working as much they weren't they were just barely getting bit parts well the studio system had died yeah right and of course there are new players you know it, it had to have room for new players but in Ed's case I mean it's, Ed remember them as great stars and they were his heroes and Ed said, after all, if I make a film, I'm going to bring these people back and put them on my, uh, my films, and I've given back his starring roles. Well, now, when Johnny Depp yes. played Ed Wood in, in the movie Ed right. Wood, was that portrayal fairly accurate? Did you like how the movie turned out? The movie was excellent. Great. I really enjoyed it. It's a kind of, a sort of picture I like to see it over and over and over. And the guy who portrayed the young Conrad Brooks, the man who insulted Bella Lugosi in the film, his name was uh, Hinckley, Brent Hinckley, did an excellent job portraying me. He should have won the Academy Award. <laughs> what did it feel like to have someone play you? Well, I... Uh I enjoyed it. <laughs> you know, playing me, that's no big deal. I could have played myself, <laughs> but they wouldn't, they wouldn't let me. Don't quite look 23 anymore. Not really, yeah. But I, but I feel sometimes I'm 23. What, what was it like on the set of the movie, Edward, when, when all the friends and people suddenly got back together? They were looking to make it authentic. I'm sure the, the people talked to you about that because you, you're one of the few people remaining. Well, believe it or not, uh, very few people spoke to me about Ed, about Ed Wood. Really? Yeah. Well, mostly the, the movie fans. But on the picture set, I, I, which I did a cameo in the picture as the bartender, and I had a scene with Johnny Depp, which I asked him, can I get you anything else, kid? And, and they didn't say a word to me. He steps out of the bar and he meets Lugosi, the very next scene. No, only Johnny Depp, I did a show in New York City uh, at, the, uh, at the Forum Theater in New York. He came over that evening, but, uh, but he was celebrating, so we didn't get much to talk about Ed Wood. <laughs> Johnny Depp strikes me as being such a complex person. Mm -hmm. I mean, just almost multiple personalities in a way. Yeah, he, he, a, a nice, very nice man, yeah. I you mean, you I, think he's going to continue to be, if he can stay healthy and yeah, he's, not get on drugs or something to be he, a good yeah, actor? Yeah, well, he's directing films now. In That's fact, right, he, yeah. he, he just directed a movie, and I believe Marlon Brando's in it. Hmm. You know, I wish he'd have used me. <laughs> well, you do look a little bit like Marlon. Ah, oh, great. That, that makes me hat. feel good. Okay, <laughs> so my brother and I decided to go out that evening, and, and who we run across? Ed Wood. <laughs> Now, how did you pick your stage name? Your, your, my, brother, if, my brother Henry picked it for me, Brooks. If, if, if I may right, ask, your Conrad real name is what? Badersky. Conrad Badersky. Badersky, right. That's Polish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, how did you, and your brother said Conrad Brooks. Got a nice ring to it. Thank you. Yeah, well, he's, uh, yeah, I got lucky, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, so he just said, well, everybody in those days pretty much changed their names. Uh, mm -hmm. Celebrities, most of them did, you know. But today, days, they, uh, um, I don't know. 
they, they stick with their own names. We have Mary Steenburgen, and, mm-hmm. stuff, and she would have changed her name 30 years ago, probably. I imagine so, yeah. Well, here, here we are. It's the Halloween season. You are remembered as being connected to Ed Wood and, and pictures which are of that horror or at least odd kind of genre. Mm-hmm. What was it like, albeit poor Bella Lugosi died yeah. at the beginning of the filming, but was it creepy on the set? I mean, you had this great big guy, Tor Johnson, playing the police yeah, chief, he was who used to be guy. a wrestler. That's right. He was one of my favorites. Of all the uh, uh, Ed Wood gang, he was my favorite. Uh, Tor, Tor was a great guy. Seems like a, you could just look at him. He had this big impish kind of attitude yeah. about him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you know when you were making Plan 9, and, and I don't mean to be critical here, mm-hmm. it's been called the worst major movie ever made in Hollywood, that because the sets were kind of thin and the same furniture that was on the outside of the house was used on the inside of the house and Ed Wood was doing it on a shoestring, did you think to yourself, boy, this is this movie has problems? <laughs> No, I uh, no, I, I was getting paid, so it was no pro- oh, was, no. was no problem there, because uh, sometimes you know you can do a shoot for someone and, and you're lucky to get your money back. Got to go look for the producer for your money. No, with Ed Wood it was always a, it was a, 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 a good deal. I mean, Ed was kind of guy. If he used you in the film, he wanted to make sure he got paid. Incidentally, that was a union picture. Everybody got scale. Hmm. And and he had to do it in five days. And Wait, five, the whole five, movie. Five days. Five days shoot. Yeah. Well, now, it may not be a masterpiece, but I can't imagine well, doing that in five... Well, well, close yeah, to it. Pardon me, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it may not be on a par, say, with the Ten Commandments, but it five days? Yep, yep. And, he, and I tell you, it's rare because for a low-budget film like that, uh, a B-movie, most of B-films, uh, Monogram uh, or PRC or, um, uh, I mean, these um, low... What, what they turn out, low-budget films, they have about... the. Ma- Maybe five, maybe t- ten to most uh, uh, characters. You know, the leads, the supporting act. Ten is about the most. Not a big cast. No, well, ten. That's pretty. Uh, that's average. Yeah, but average. I mean, not a cast. But of Eddie thousands. Wood had a, Eddie come close to having a thousand. Thirty, uh, thirty players. Wow. Thirty players. He had six, seven major stars. We had uh, Criswell. We had uh, uh, Bella Lugosi. We had uh, Vampira. Wild uh, Talbot. To- uh, no. Talbot. Tom Keene and and Tor Johnson. Sure. And, and Gregory Walcott. So you had seven major names. Well, now the the guy with the neat voice. And then and plus a uh, 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 um, love joy, not love joy, uh, man love, <laughs> man love. Gregory, <laughs> Gregory, uh, not Gregory. Uh, um, well, we'll come back to we'll it. We'll come back. What, what, I was, what I was saying is, if I'm not mistaken, you that wonderful line, you Earth people are stupid, 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 stupid. He was a radio announcer, yes, right? Yes, he was, right. So he had that kind of, from of Gary San, Owens. From out of San Francisco, right. You and I have a mutual friend who used to run a record store in downtown Los Angeles. He talked about all the people you'd run into at Coffee Dan's, a restaurant next door. Yeah, if anybody come to Hollywood, yeah, I don't care where you go, Coffee Dan's or the Music City. Uh, or even on, on the bill of a Hollywood and Vine, you, you see celebrities up and down or driving through, you know. And on Gower Street, uh, Sunset and Gower, right by Columbia Pictures, they had this, uh, the Gower Gulch. They had all these old uh, bit players, whether they were extras or bit players. People you've seen on the screen in, in West, Western films, you've seen their faces. But you might not by name, but you say, I've seen that man. You know? <laughs> I think maybe the, sad, the saddest thing is when you come to Hollywood and Vine, you say, why am I here? There's no there when you get there. That's right. It used to be the Brown Derby and it had some flake. Well, Jimmy yeah. Stewart star is, is on the corner there. But uh, other than that, how would you know but for the signs? There's nothing at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Yeah. But right. yet it's one of the most famous intersections in the world. Yeah, that's true. Well, the nice thing about it, if you look down the street, you'll see the Pantages Theater. Yeah, not <laughs> too far away. The only thing that's left there, Pantages Theater. Mm-hmm. Now, are we losing you here in Hollywood? You moving back? Yeah, I, I, yeah I hate to leave. It hurts me to go because I enjoyed myself. I've been here 50-some years. But... Uh, but I, of course, I'm in, you know from Maryland, so uh, yeah, it's time to go back. I'm 66 now, and so I, I feel uh, I've been here long enough. They had enough of me. <laughs> but don't, I mean, uh, I'll be doing films. If there's a movie, if it's a low-budget film, but I'll be in it. <laughs> Look for Conrad Brooks. <laughs> right. 
Conrad, it's a great story you've got to tell, and uh, I, I thank you for sharing a little bit of Ed Wood and, uh, and that, that whole wonderful genre, those movies you love to laugh at and be scared of at the same time during this Halloween weekend, and good luck back out east. Well, I want to thank you very much, and I, like I said, it's a special, and I expect this to happen this morning, you know, here I'm ready to leave tonight, you know, and this is great. When I'm always ready to leave, so, oh, these little things pop up. I remember a few years ago, I was, uh, for the last five years, I've been trying to get out of Hollywood. I was all set to go, and uh, and this fella calls me, Cardoza, he says, I got a picture for you, it's called Misfit Patrol, and I says, okay, I'll do the picture for you, and I said, well, how soon would we be shooting? He said, in a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks went by, no shoot. It went on like for three months. I said, Tony, I I got to get out of town. He said, oh, you can't leave. I said, so get yourself another actor. And it was a great starring role for me. In fact, it just recently was showing in Paris. Um, I worked with Vernon Wells. Uh, you know, he worked in quite a major, uh, quite a few major films out here. And um, and then after that, and after I fin finished that movie, then I was at the Bikini Drive-In uh, for Fred Olin Ray. I was ready to leave again. He said, oh, you can't go. I got you another movie job for you. And then I worked with Don Jackson. He kept me busy. He's the Ed Wood for me today, anyway. Oh. I've done like seven pictures for him. And also had a chance to work with the Martin Sheen's brother, Joe Estevez. But, uh, but anyway, this is it. i got to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to I'll still be in the movie game as long as it's a low-budget movie. And if they need me, want me, if they uh, want to put up with me, I'll work. <laughs> Conrad, thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, Dennis, I want to thank you very much. And uh, may I shake your hand? And yes. uh, and good luck. Kind of, kind of feeling of great Hollywood, you know? <laughs> thank you, Mr. Gilgood. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you again. It isn't often that you meet someone in Hollywood who knows he's bad and likes it. Conrad Brooks. What a funny guy. I'm Dennis Daly.